My name is Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp here in the UK. Welcome to YouTube Tuesday. Now today I'd like to work with mica powders on black glossy card. And I want to show you a couple of tricks which will pretty much guarantee a perfect result every time, if you'll pardon the expression. Now the reason I say that is because we are actually going to be working with Perfect Pearls from Ranger. And the reason that I like these particular uh, mica powders is because they've got like a built-in fixative, which is really, really cool. Anyway, I wanted to use a couple of our beautiful Clarity stamps. These are, if you have a look at these now, they're rather spectacular. And these are called the Lacy Swallows. Now, the reason I want to use these is because they are so intricate and so detailed. And I wanted to show off a particular trick to bring out the, um, the accuracy. So what we'll do is, let's get started. I'm going to put that to one side and, uh, and I'm going to take some black clarity card. Now I'm not going to make a masterpiece, I'm just going to show you the tricks. So the first thing I want to do is just lay that up on a piece of um, white copy paper and we're going to dust the whole piece of card, the black coated stock, with talcum powder. Any old talc makes it smell nice too. So we'll just do that first, that helps. <coughs> right, okay. And then the next thing, these are the two basic things that we need to do. One, coat black card with talcum powder. Second, we're going to uh, take a Versamark ink pad. And what I want to do is uh, ink up. I've already removed the uh, indexing from our stamps with, um, you can use nail varnish remover, you can use baby wipes. Uh, the only thing is, you see, if you don't, then your Versamark gets blue like mine. It doesn't affect it, just, it's just not so pretty. Now, what we're usually going to do is stamp this and then dust the, the pearls over the top. What I'm suggesting to you is that we blot the stamp first on a piece of copy paper before we plant the image. And then we'll just lay that down. And this is great because you'll find there's still plenty on the, um, on the stamp to catch the perfect pearls. And because we dusted it with talcum powder, this has got two functions. First of all, you can see exactly where you've placed the image, which is very helpful. And secondly, when we go to uh, polish our artwork at the end, so that we bring the card right back to a beautiful black gloss, the talcum powder will have created a kind of a, a film between the, the powder and the card, and it will really, it will just fall off so that it doesn't stick to the card. So the next thing I need is a pair of my glasses and some of these perfect pearls and a dry paintbrush. So all we want to do is I'm going to use some blue uh, perfect pearl white and uh, some oh hello and some green. So let's just gently add a little bit of the silver or the pearl. There we are. I'm we'll just add a little bit here and there. Then I think I'll add a little bit of the, the blue. But what I'm going to do is add some of the blue to the existing colour already. So let's add a little bit more white. And you'll find that the colours blend really beautifully. I, I, like, um, I like mixing them up a little bit on the actual artwork. Now let's add a little bit of green as well, because if you look very carefully at the stamps, you'll see that they've got lots of leaf patterns in them as well. It's very, very beautiful. Now, I put it to you that if you were to emboss these images, say with uh, embossing powder, and then, and then heat, and then heat uh, emboss them, um, the problem that I find sometimes with very detailed stamps is that the artwork tends to sort of swell or increase a little bit. It just seems fatter, do you know what I mean? Now, what I'm saying to you is that when you, when you um, use perfect pearls like this on black card, that doesn't happen. It's really cool. So there we are. Look, we've just covered the whole thing, the whole Im all, all of the images, anywhere where there's Versamark. That'll do. Right. So obviously if you wanted to, you know, if you're doing this at home, then you would take more time and possibly be more 
specific about where you're putting your powder. <sighs> I know I should save it and normally I would but you know what this is YouTube. Now what I want to do now is, and this is where the talcum powder comes into play, if I gently go over the image now, you see I can get rid of the excess, I'm using a tissue and then I'm just going to gently buff and what you'll see is that as I polish over, one, because I blotted the Versamark, see how quickly it's dried, two, the image isn't sort of, ex hasn't expanded because the Versamark, um, there wasn't so much of it, but plenty to catch all the powder. And three, because we did the, because we covered the black card with talcum powder before we began, you see, all the perfect pearls, the mica powders, come straight off the black card. So you see how beautiful and sharp and defined these birds are in, uh, in perfect pearls, which is metallic, isn't it? And what's interesting is if I take my black and white images of the same birds, you'll notice that the, the line art hasn't expanded or swollen at all. We've got exactly the same line art with the Versamark here as we did with the black archival on white. And that's about it. That's all I wanted to show you. Thank you very much for joining me and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye now.